So the Black and White building is an office building for co-working space designed specifically for high density office use. So a great project, four and a half thousand square meters and every single piece of the structure above the ground floor slab is made of timber. So hardwood LVL structure, beams and columns, softwood CLT floor slabs and core. Um, the entire frame took 16 weeks to put together, so you know, less than four months. Um, six people on site uh, assembled the whole building to really tight tolerances, about 20 millimetres from the whole front to the back of the building and about 10 millimetres across. Very quick, very clean, um, an 80% reduction in construction traffic. No site waste at all because it's all prefabricated, brought to site, screwed into position with cordless screwdrivers. So yeah, a great process. I have learned a huge amount already. That's the purpose of coming. Uh, as a construction minister, I want to come and find out more. I want to understand about different methods of construction, about how they work in the UK, about where they work, and about what the challenges and opportunities are. So the thing that's really surprised me about being here is just how different it is in terms of the construction phase. You know, I've been to lots of different construction sites over the last six months as a minister. They're often noisy, there's often lots of people around, there's often lots of dust, there's often lots of materials all around and this is obviously being done in a very different way because there's a different material here and it's really transforming the process of how you create buildings and that's a really interesting thing as construction minister to see. We're sat in a future office building, a future commercial building and you can really see how what's being tried to be created here will hopefully last for decades and is easy to change, is easy to amend, is easy to make better, to accommodate the changing needs of, uh, of organisations and companies that use it in the future. And that's a real step forward in terms of how we develop and how we grow office buildings over time to make sure they're still the same, they can still serve the needs of companies in 20 years as they can in two. But really what I've taken away from it, what I'm learning is just how flexible timber can be as a construction material and how transferable it is compared to older forms and older types of construction and the amount of additional carbon that's involved with them and how you can change and bring in new materials like timber to try and deal with some of those really important challenges which we're all trying to grapple with at the moment. So in terms of where we go from here, the government has got a long-term ambition to look at all different types of methods of construction and how we take carbon and inefficiencies out of that process, a process of construction, and then making sure we're clear about how buildings work over the long term for the decades that they are there to serve their customers or their residents or the companies which rent them or own them. And what we want to see is a diversified industry which has a many, many different opportunities and many different options for construction. And we want those different options for construction to be about what the building can achieve, not the specific construction type or the material type that's there. So just seeing another example of how different methods of construction are being brought together using different materials that's still serving the purpose, that is the ultimate intent behind it, is fantastic. And I'm very grateful for the team showing me around today.